They have come to you. Can you not smile at her and tell her, I love you. I appreciate your sacrifice. Can you not appreciate the fact that your spouse, especially our wives, they have sacrificed their families. They have sacrificed their surroundings. They have sacrificed their friends. They have sacrificed so much. Think about it, my brothers who are married here. Even if you're married for years on end, your spouses in most cases, the wives are the ones who sacrifice more because they give up so much in order to make that home. And if we don't acknowledge that, how is the home going to be happy? How's your spouse going to be happy? They've given you children. They might be... And I always say this, as much as it's important to keep ourselves prim and prop and in shape, we all try, but they might have gained a little bit of weight because they gave birth to your children. And they are the ones who ate all the leftovers that you left, subhanAllah. And when they gain a little bit of weight, what do you look at? You look at her and you think to yourself, gosh, the lady I saw out there was far prettier. Prettier? You haven't appreciated the kids you've had, the sacrifice. You haven't appreciated anything that Allah's blessed you with. And you're busy trying to look at something that you're not supposed to be looking at. Remember, not everything that pretty is suitable for you to be married to. But it's a fact of life, my brothers and sisters. You need to appreciate your spouse. The same applies sometimes. We have young girls complaining and I'm talking about problems that come to me as a counselor. People say, you know what? My husband doesn't show me enough love. So I, you know, I normally say, what do you mean? And sometimes you'd have, oh, he works and he doesn't come back home. He's home late and he works. Well, you know what? If he doesn't work, there's not going to be the money that you would like to spend. Subhanallah. In a lot of cases, that's what happens. Sometimes both work. And if both work, like I said, you need to understand, systems have changed. Islam will not change. The mutual respect will not change. The fact that we need to please Allah has not changed. But because of the pressures that we have of survival and of living on earth today, and how much of money we need just for the month, sometimes we both have to work. So there is not... A spouse that can remain at home and that's it. No, sometimes we have to work. If that is the case, remember, don't let one party do much more than the other just because they happen to be of a certain gender. That's a heavy statement. Very heavy statement. Do you know why? Because we are very selfish. That's why. We are very selfish. If we are both working and we both have similar responsibilities, why is it that one has to come back every day and do certain things and the other one can just sit back, relax, put his feet up and that's it. If that is the case, how do you expect long-term happiness in that home? There comes a day when your spouse needs a break, they would need a holiday. They would just need a holiday doesn't mean a visit to Hawaii or Honolulu. No, it means to say, you know what, today I'll do the thing. You just relax, sit back, take it easy. MashaAllah.